black people are more likely to be charged, overcharged, and more likely to be arrested by Toronto Police. And black people are more likely to be struck, shot, or killed by Toronto Police. None of this is shocking or surprising to Toronto's black community, who for decades now have been ringing the alarm on racial discrimination and profiling by the Toronto Police. And today, a new troubling report highlights just how policing has been disproportionately targeting and impacting black people in our city. When new policies, procedures, and or legislation are being developed, these reports matter. Or when judges are making decisions, reports like this matter. This disturbing report released by the Ontario Human Rights Commission analyzes Toronto Police data between 2013 and 2017, examining anti-black racial profiling and discrimination by the Toronto Police. Anti-black racial profiling has lasting impact on an, on an individual's educational pursuits, employment opportunities, and housing situations. Not to mention the deep-seated distrust of those who are sworn to protect and serve all communities. Despite making up only 8.8% of the city's population, black people represent almost a third of all charges in the data set. Black men in particular are more likely to be proactively charged and subjected to use of force during police interactions. However, charges against black people were more likely to result in withdrawal than a conviction, raising concerns around systemic charging practices. Arrests and charges can have a very negative impact on one's life. Even charges that do not involve conviction result in a police non-conviction record. The disturbing trend doesn't stop there. The University of Toronto team behind this report also analyzed data from the province's police watchdog, finding that black people were significantly overrepresented in special investigations unit cases, which is called in when a civilian is harmed or killed by a police officer. A black person was nearly 20 times more likely to be shot by Toronto police than a white person. Black people were also involved in nearly four out of 10 lower level use of force cases. These are instances where SI you isn't called in to investigate. Most lower level use of force cases involved either the physical restraint or grounding of somebody, police struck strikes including punches or kicks. Only 10% involved police officers pointing their firearm at a civilian. More than one third of this population is also involved in single charge out of sight driving offenses such as driving without a valid license. These are charges that can never be discovered until police have observed the race of the driver or stopped and questioned the individual. By contrast, white people and people from other racialized groups were underrepresented. Toronto Police Services and the board say they have taken initial concrete steps towards reform from starting to collect race-based data to anti-black racism training and the creation of an equity, inclusion and human rights unit, quote, this important work is an acknowledgement that transparency and accountability are critical in building and restoring community trust and engagement between the service and the communities it serves. Much more work needs to be done in partnership with the communities that are most impacted. But at this juncture, they have not committed to meeting the Commission's first call to action for legally enforceable binding broad remedies. The Commission is set to release a third and final report that will include interviews as well as further recommendations that is expected to come by the end of the year. To get a further look at this report, you can head to our website, citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Faisa Amin.